Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut the top of our headstock angle. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the bandsaw and remove the bulk of it that way. Uh, then we're going to come back with a router and a straight edge and just give us a perfectly crisp line to work to. And then we're going to take it over and use the robo sander and get things all nice, smooth and flat. So now we've got a nice uh, flat square uh, reference surface. We can then use this with the robo sander and the bearing can run along here taking away the rest of this material and giving us a nice flat clean surface to work on. So just a quick explanation before we do this. This is our robo sander. So you can see we've got a bearing here that spins freely and that will run along our straight edge that we've created here and then this big drum sander will sand away all this material uh, keeping a flush with the line we've already made or at least very close to it, enough for us to work with. So we'll just get cracking now, so this should be very dusty. So that's our neck off the robo sander now. And we've got a nice perfectly square and clean uh, headstock uh, front now. And um, we got a bit ahead of ourselves here, trying to jump ahead operations, and we shouldn't have done that, but we should get away with it. So just putting our neck on its side now, you can just make out these lines here. We've remarked uh, exactly the profile of our neck. So we're going to go over to the bandsaw now, and we're going to cut off all this uh, material here. As, again, as close to the line as possible, and we'll be doing similar that we did with the front of the headstock, getting ourselves a flat surface to work on all the way along, and then using the robo sander to smooth things out. So that's our neck off the bandsaw, so we've taken away all this material, leaving us with an almost vaguely neck-like shape. So what we're going to do next is, uh, we'll do this off camera, we're going to take our template here, which is plastic and very flimsy, and we're going to make a much thicker uh, MDF copy of this uh, template, and then we're going to stick that on to our neck blank here, and then like we did before, we'll get a straight edge and then we'll use our robo sander to get everything nice and refined. So after much, much robo sanding, uh, we've pretty much got our neck shape done. And we got ahead of ourselves again and we started the bandsaw out uh, some of the neck, but that's the next step we'll be getting onto. So, as I said, we'll start bandsawing out the rest of the stuff and we'll get ready to route out the final shape. So with our neck off the bandsaw now, um, as you can see we're really getting something that's starting to look like a neck. So our next step is going to be uh, to route uh, using our template and get this all perfectly nicely shaped. So we're just in our headstock shape now, so we've got an extra template we've just added here. Now I'm using two screws to hold it in place because I'll be putting a veneer on the front and back of this headstock. So I'm not worried about seeing any little holes or anything like that, they can be filled in and the veneer will hide all their mistakes. So we're just using our laminate trimmer here and we're just going to put on our PPE now and start routing this out. So we're just going to drill our holes for our tuners now. So we've got a backing board behind us here to ensure we don't blow out through the back. And we've set our depth stop on our drill as well so it should just start to poke through the back. And then when it does we can flip it over and our drill from this side to ensure we have a nice clean hole with no tear out on either side. So we'll just get cracking with that now.
So just a quick test there, and our tuners fit nice, we've got the thickness nice, and uh, they go in and screw in without any problems or anything like that. So that's grand, we can move on now, and we're going to work on our fingerboard.